What accomplishment in the past 10 years that you've been doing this professionally are you most proud of? What a great question. I think honestly, and this is probably a little bit cheesy, but I mean it with with 100% seriousness is what you said at the very beginning when we were talking, which is I've never really heard of anyone talk about canine mental health until I met you, Jenna. That is exactly what I'm most proud of because it wasn't something that people were talking about. It wasn't a phrase that was being used. Um, And there were other people in the industry that definitely proliferated that phrase in the last two years, but it wasn't being talked about nearly as much until some of my followers ended up using it in their language. Um, uh, we, I think undermine the significance of our canine mental health. And it's just not a concept that we understand. In fact, when I very first started my channel and my business, and I said, you know, my, my brand thesis in life is to enhance dogs, mental health. Um, when I started using that, I went to a friend who's a business mentor of mine and they're, far older than us, let's say they're, they're in their sixties. Um, and when I told him that this was what I wanted to to do, he literally told me like, it sounds like propaganda. It sounds like a marketing ploy. And I, and he meant it like in all seriousness, he wasn't trying Mm -hmm. to be a jerk about it, but that was really the moment that I was like, well, screw it. I need to make it not propaganda. This needs to be an actual thing that we appreciate the significance of. This is not just me using floppy language. This is a serious problem that we're overlooking. 